Hi, my name is Brianna Pexak, and I am an intern at Americans for Peace Now in Washington, D.C. I'm a rising junior at The Ohio State University. I'm studying International Studies in Hebrew, and I'm here today with Walid. Hello, how are you? I'm, uh, it's good to be here. My name is Walid Isa. I'm uh, from uh, the Haysha refugee camp, Bethlehem. I'm Palestinian. Um, I just graduated from St. Cloud State University. I got my degree in economics and I'm intern at Americans for Peace now. It's good to be here. Well, it's great to have you here, and we're going to talk a little bit about current research that the Arab World for Research and Development just put out yesterday. Um, so if you could just talk to me a little bit about some of the challenges that Palestinian young adults face when they want to obtain a higher education degree. Sure. Uh, there is a few challenges and obstacles that the young Palestinians go through when they are trying to go to college. One of the main obstacles is fund and money, and it's uh, as everywhere in the world, especially in Palestine, the last seven or ten years, the education, it's getting very pricey, and uh, it's very hard for the Palestinians to go to college, and um, it's hard to find funds to go to school, and most of the students who go to college are from little towns and refugee camps, and they suffer, and they go through a lot of obstacles when they are trying to go to college. And the other problem is when there is a student in Bethlehem trying to go to a college in Ramallah or Birzeit or Najah University in Nablus, not only the money, also the time and the transportation. You know, it's very hard to go from a city to another city in the West Bank when there is a lot of checkpoints and there is a lot of walls, you know, and make it harder for them and make it more expensive for them. And that's why it's very hard, and you don't see students from Bethlehem study in Ramallah or study in Najah University in Nablus. And um, same thing if you want to go study ab ab abroad or outside the country, it's very expensive and it's very hard to leave the country. Um, I can see why that would be hard. It's also a problem in America with the price of higher education. Um, so some of the statistics that were brought up in this study um, specifically talking about West Bank and Gaza governments and the relations to the students and how they feel about the government. Sure. Um, only 22% um, positively evaluated the performance of the West Bank government. Um, only 42% evaluated it as fair and only 30 and 31% evaluated it as negative and gave negative um, feedback as to like what, what the West Bank is doing. So if you could just comment on that. Um. <coughs> You know, the statistics are showing that 22% positively evaluated the performance of the West Bank government. That means the Fadih government. And that means that there is 22% support Mahmoud Abbas and the PLO in, in the West Bank, which run by Fatah now. And uh, I think there is around 22% of the, of the West Bank or that amount of people in the West Bank that work with the PLO and Fatah and uh, they get benefits and they get a better life standards in the West Bank and I think that's who are the people are supporting the government in the West Bank and if you look at 42 percent evaluated as fair that's the middle class in the West Bank and they are living from day to day this they have bread and they are not um, suffering and their kids go to school and they are happy with that. I'm not asking about anything else because if they are, it's a problem. <laughs> and uh, there's 31% give a negative evaluation, which is, I think, mostly the refugee camps and the people who are not getting any benefits from being Fatah. And they don't want to be with a certain group. And that's why they are not living a good lifestyle in the West Bank and they are waiting for any chance for them to leave. And if you are completing the statistics, if you want to read the other statistics about Gaza, 17% give a b positive evaluation and 37% give a fair evaluation about Gaza. And about the same, the same statistics, 31% give a negative evaluation of uh, the government in Gaza, which is run by Hamas, right? That means that there is 17% in the West Bank support Hamas and support the government in, in Gaza. And the reality is, in both of them, there is 17% support Hamas, and there is 22% support Fatah, and the rest, they don't care. 
And uh, if you ask me why they don't care, basically because the statistics about the young people in Palestine who are 17, 18 years old, and the conflict between Israel and Palestine been, you know, in the last 40 or 50 years, the same faces in the government in Palestine, the same faces in the government in Hamas, and then in, 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 uh, in, uh, in, in Gaza. And how are you going to convince a 17 or 18 years old guy live uh, live in the West Bank, go to a university there, that there is the government and been there for 40 years, you know, mm -hmm. going to this year make a difference and make you a better lifestyle. And that's why they don't care. Gotcha. Well, thank you so much for your comments today, Waleed. Thank you so much.